Hi, this is Larry Stewart with 4constructionpros.com at the Caterpillar booth at uh, Con Expo Con Ag 2020. This is Scott Thomas. He's market professional with the ADT line at, with, for Caterpillar. And uh, Scott, the 725, the, the small uh, truck in the, in the line has been brought up to parity with the, the rest of the advances that the line has taken on. What does that mean for this truck? Uh, it's a great question. Thanks for having me, Larry. So, so the 725 was the last truck to get the next gen title that we like to throw around at Caterpillar. For this particular machine, that means getting the new cab put on. But when you get the new cab, you get so much more. The other thing that we did was we wanted to uh, increase productivity and performance. So we turned up the horsepower a little bit, uh, put in a different transmission, a CX31R, and uh, so that increased productivity in comparison to the 725C2. You said you turned up the horsepower, does that mean uh, the same engine? Is he getting that out of the absolutely, same thing? Absolutely, absolutely. So it's a seal, still the same C9.3, Okay. Um, but we put in 22 more horses, okay. allow us to, to get that better uh, performance. Uh, what does the new transmission bring to the, to the table? New transmission gives uh, different shift points, allows us to be able to put that increased performance, that increased horsepower to the wheels and Along with that new CX31R transmission, we get 17% more retarding capabilities. Oh, okay. Uh, which makes it really nice. So it's a hydraulic transmission retarder, but because it's a, a, a new platform for the transmission, for this machine, we got better retarding capabilities. So you were going to start talking about the cab. Okay. Tell, tell us about the details and what that Yeah, means. so the cab, uh, here's what I'll tell you. Better visibility. We wanted better visibility. These trucks work in busy environments. Uh, a lot of operators on the ground, you got to be able to see. Yeah. Uh, so we took out the C post, so that allows us to have glass on each corner, on over each shoulder, so you got better visibility. That was huge. We combined the transmission and the hoist lever. So in previous generations of trucks, you'd have to go to neutral, uh, go to a different location to apply the park brake, go to a different location to hoist the bed, and mash the accelerator with your foot. Now, all that operator has to do is go to one location to go to reverse, yeah. and it's fingertip control to raise the bed. We've got stability assist. Stability assist uses an IMU sensor on the cab and one on the bed. They work independently of each other. And we've got a system designed to keep that truck from rolling over when the bed's raising. Oh, okay. Most operator uh, rollovers with the truck bed happen at the dump site. They go to raise the bed, they're not paying attention, they don't know what their tandem wheels are doing, what it looks like. They go to raise the bed and it goes up and rolls over. Mm -hmm. So as you're doing that either in manual, hoisting, or automatic, we've got a stability assist that's gonna take over uh, and monitor in relationship to the cab and the bed whether or not we're gonna allow that operator to raise that bed. Oh, okay, so even it's in all manual, automatic. even in manual, it'll- Absolutely. It'll, it, it, it actually steps in and, and stops the, the hoist? The hoisting. The hoisting, okay. It yeah. will not allow you to hoist to begin with. You'll have an audible oh, alarm, a yeah. visual, uh, display and then the hoisting lever would be would not would not work. So it knows your stability even before the bed starts absolutely. going. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You've got to have technology working behind the scenes so the operator can be aware of their surroundings and pay attention to what they're doing sure. and not have to worry about turning on or off stability assist, uh, traction control being another one. It also knows if it's flat and level, if it's loaded or what percent of grade and it will monitor wheel speed, it will monitor uh, percent of grade and it'll apply the retarding system off, low, medium, high, and it'll apply the service brakes when needed to keep the truck from having an engine overspeed situation. Oh. So what's that operator have to do? Take the foot off the accelerator and pay attention to what they're doing as they're going down that grade. Yeah. So again, a lot of great technology on these trucks that work behind the scenes that the operator doesn't really have to interact with, sure. but helps them be more productive and more safe on that job site. You mentioned traction control. What are the features of that? Yeah, so traction control on our trucks, on all of our trucks since 2011, fully automatic, no operator intervention. You don't have to turn a switch on. You don't have to push anything down. You just literally jump in the machine and the, and the, or the traction control is going to take over. We've got sensors on all these machines that uh, monitor wheel slip. And as we need more torque to each wheel or less torque, the sensors monitor and instantly react to that. There's nothing the operator has to interact with when it comes to traction control. So now, since 2011, when we launched automatic traction control, it's integrated with the steering system so you can turn uh, and not have to worry about not being able to turn. What, what have we missed? What haven't we, haven't okay. we talked about? Scott? I think one of the things that, uh, that the operators are going to really love is the fact that we now start off in second gear. Uh, so we, we, we skip a shift if we have to. Um, allows that truck to get up to speed sooner and allows for you know less shifting is less energy lost 
and it's a smoother ride. Sure, you don't need first gear if you're, yeah. if you're not loaded on Absolutely. flat ground. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And if you think about this, operators get loaded, the, the truck gets loaded here, they go there, which means half the day, half the day they're empty. Right. So why start off in first gear right. and go through all those gears when you can start off in second gear, especially you know, at least half your trip? Yeah. Well, thanks so much for walking us through the, the features. It's a, it's a pretty interesting truck and I uh, wish you the best of luck with it, Yeah. Scott. Awesome. All right. Good talking to you. Thanks, Have a guys. great, great show. When your dealer services your cat, they know there's a lot more riding on it than just you. Let's do the work. <laughs>